Here we are at the public daycare. It's a space for babies and toddlers aged zero to three years old and their carers. The project is inspired by Emmy Pickler's approach to education. And this pedagogy is based on respectful care, self-initiated gross motor development, autonomous play, and a health balance between the parents' needs and the children's needs. The architecture of the space was created by me and Elke Avenarius. Elke is my main local partner from Kassel. Elke is a civil engineer who is also the director of nursery here. And the collaboration was so intense that in many aspects of the project, we became co-authors. The space here is divided into areas of care where the adults look after the babies. So we have changing dressers, we have a sleeping room, a knitting room, and the big area in the middle is the plain area. And the idea is that in this area, babies are able to look after themselves. So the parents can sit down a bit, relax a bit, and observe the babies playing. Amy Pickler's approach to education is a pedagogy of many details, like the bonding things is super important, the respectful care is super important. But what I can highlight here is that in this pedagogy, this free play is at the same time the free motor development. And that means that the baby, since the lying back position on the floor, is able to achieve all gross motor positions and movements on their own. Instead of us teaching the baby or training the baby how to do the movements, we are always there, present, but we don't anticipate the baby's motor positions. Here I show the video of the free motor development of my own daughter, and there it's possible to see her since the lying back position playing with her hands, achieving all movements on her own, and also solving problems on her own. So for example, when she wants to pick a book to read, she doesn't expect me to pick the book for her. She finds a solution, she solves the problem, and she picks uh, the book she wants to read. It's very beautiful to see, for example, the first time she stands up on her own without holding on, She's playing with boxes on the floor, and then she stands up, and when she's finally there, she's, she looks at her own hands like, hmm, nice, my hands are free. And she doesn't even have to look at me because it's her achievement, and I'm happy because she's happy. I think it's important to mention that even if the project is inspired by a very specific pedagogical approach, that it is at the same time an open space for people with babies and children. And basically they can use the back door of the museum for free to enter here. I really like to think that a mother, for example, of a two month old baby who might be very lonely at home can leave the house and find a place in the mid of the city with a very good structure for her to stay for hours and also to meet other people, to share aspects of motherhood uh, and not feel alone anymore.